If you are looking to add simple touches to your home on a budget, I have two inexpensive ways you can add a little luxe for less. This video is sponsored by Cricut, and today I will be sharing how you can add some eye-pleasing touches to your home on a budget. Kitchen towels are practical and they are great for cleaning your silverware, your plates, and keeping surfaces clean and dry and tidy. But you can also use them decoratively to enhance the appearance in your kitchen. You guys know how much I love ginger jars and I have quite the collection and my favorite has to be the blue and white that my mom introduced to me years ago. And I'm going to share how you can create this ginger jar decal on a flower sack towel. First, I googled ginger jars and went under images to find the jar that I wanted to cut for my personal use, download it, and save it to your computer. Then upload your image into the canvas and select and erase the images that you want to cut and size it to whatever size you need it to be. You can get a pack of 10 flower sack towels from Walmart for about $8. Now I'm trying to find the center so when I hang the towel, the image will be seen. I'm double checking and measuring the width and the length of how large I want the design to be. If you're wanting to do an image like this, this particular image took a little longer than usual because of all of the details. I didn't mind because I was so excited to get started on making this. I'm now using the Cricut weeding tool to remove the unwanted pieces and leaving what I want. This is actually my favorite part because you can actually start to see the jar coming together. I'm getting ready to use transfer tape to transfer the image onto the towel. Always cut your tape a little larger than what you need to make sure that you have enough to cover your project. I'm using the scraper tool to smooth out any air bubbles and adding a little pressure just to make sure that the image will adhere to the transfer tape. I'll even flip it over on the back side just to make sure. Right now, I'm getting ready to transfer the image onto the towel. This part can get a little tricky and it always makes me nervous because when it's on, it's on. But although I'm using removable vinyl, it holds pretty well. By the way, I'm not using this towel for everyday use. It's just for decorative purposes only. I'm smoothing out all the air bubbles with my scraper tool, again, making sure the image will adhere to the towel. I'm taking my time peeling it off because little pieces were left behind. See, it wasn't too bad. I still like it. It wasn't noticeable at all. Rehome your body wash, shampoo, and conditioner bottles for these refillable bottles that will change your bathroom with refinement. These peel and stick labels came with the bottles, but they are a little too plain for my liking, so I'm creating new ones on my Cricut Explore 3. Hop on over to Design Space and choose your fonts. There's so many styles that you can choose from. Just follow the same steps I did with the ginger jars. I measured the length, width, and height of how big I wanted my lettering to be, and after weeding what I didn't want, then transferred them onto my bottles. These bottles are giving me the luxury hotel vibes, hoping to relieve me of numerous bottles, keeping everything neat and tidy. I hope you guys have enjoyed this segment of making your house a home on a budget. I have more ideas for you to come, and I want to thank you all for watching.